Is the lightning connector on your iPhone or iPad not charging your device correctly? Does the charging cable easily fall out or have to be pulled in a specific direction to work? Or does the charging activity start and stop randomly indicating a loose connection to the port? If this sounds like some of the issues you're having with your charger, then you've come to the right video. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to fix this annoying issue once and for all with a few things you can find lying around the house. We'll start by shining a flashlight or another light source directly into the lightning port to see if there's any lint or dirt compacted inside. This can happen with devices that spend a lot of time in linty pockets or purses, so we need to make sure to clean them out from time to time. You can do this easily with something like a toothpick, a tack, or a paper clip, but first be sure to turn your device off completely to prevent any static discharge. Now, gently use the object to try to fish out any foreign matter that could be restricting the connection. Take your time with this step and be careful not to violently scrape the inside of the port because you don't want to damage your device. In most cases, this step alone will fix any charging issues you are having by freeing up the space needed for the charger to establish a stronger connection, but if it didn't work for you, then there are a couple more effective steps that we can try. Next, we'll get a dry, soft bristle toothbrush and gently brush the inside of the port. This helps to break up the dirt that's compacted inside the port over time. One thing to note for this step is that you want to make sure the toothbrush is completely dry. You don't want to get any moisture from a wet toothbrush inside your device because that can cause even more issues down the road, so to avoid that, just make sure it's 100% dry. Now just blow into the port, or if you have any cans of compressed air lying around, you can use that to help remove any remaining dust or lint particles. Then try the charger again, and with any luck, your device should begin charging normally. Just remember to keep those ports cleaned out every once in a while. If that step didn't work for you, then one more thing we can try is to add a small piece of tape inside the port to make the connection even more snug. I recommend using electrical tape for this because of the thickness of the tape. Simply cut out a small piece that's the same width as the lightning connector and slowly lower it into the charging port with the sticky side facing towards the screen of your device. Then just take a toothpick or a paper clip to gently press it to the side of the port and cut off any excess tape. Now try to plug your device in again. This should help stop the charging cable from falling out of the lightning port once and for all. If this didn't work for you, then you might want to consider replacing the actual charging cable itself or changing out the charging port because over time they can wear down and just stop working. I've left a link to the cable that I use in the description below. It's Apple certified and made with high quality copper wires to promote maximum signal strength and quality. It's wrapped in durable nylon fiber cloth for strength, flexibility, and to reduce fraying, and it costs less than most other lightning chargers available on Amazon, so it's a no-brainer. If you guys want me to make another video about how to change out the charging port yourself, let me know in the comment section below. For those of you who don't have any of these items lying around the house or just want a more long-term solution to this problem, I've left a link to a really cool cleaning kit that's available on Amazon for less than 10 bucks. It works great for iOS and Android devices and comes with everything you need to clean your entire phone, like foam swabs designed to fit perfectly into the lightning port, nylon brushes for removing compacted dirt, microfiber cloths to keep your screen crystal clear, and even dust plugs to make sure you never get any dust in your lightning port again. I really hope this video helped fix any issues you were having with your iPhone or iPad charger. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help my small channel grow and we're almost to a thousand subscribers now, so every little bit helps at this point. Thank you so much for watching until the end and until next time my friends, take it easy.